Hey guys, Rachel here, uh, hanging out at the airport. Just waiting on my flight. Check it out, airport. It's a really little airport. This is, um, this is the airport from like my home community, like where I grew up. Um, there's a restaurant that's like right over there. And I think the last time I was here, yeah, it was definitely while I was still in the service. Um, and I, I left in my um, dress whites, like the uniform where you wear the Navy sailor cap and you um, you put on like your military uniform and they have like the ribbons and you wear like the ribbon right here. Anyways, it's a really cute outfit. And yeah, it's also the appropriate military attire. It is the uniform to wear um, during certain times of the year, they change it, um, like whether it's black or white or, yeah, I think that's pretty much all it changes. I don't know, it's different for men and women too. We have like alternating things that we can wear. So anyhow, I was wearing the summer stuff. It was late spring, so it was like right when we switched to whites, which is cool. Um, anyhow, so the last time I was here is gone and went, and now I am here, and I am here way early. I went shopping too. Um, I stopped by the mall. Um, just having a hard time this holiday season. I, I think I've mentioned it on here before, but I, um, I suffer from PTSD, which isn't like terribly debilitating. Like it doesn't take over my life. You know what I mean? Like I function, I don't, um, I don't not exist. And you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, I think that it's still normal and it's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to the people that don't have something or like even understanding mental health to like understand what it is, but oh, the airport announcement. Oh, I should put on my mask. Oops. Putting on my mask. I got a Maverick mask here. There's another one in the mail too. Oh my gosh, his new merch, uh, Logan Paul. His new merch is really cute. I have one that's like a smiley face. It's so cute. It's on the way. Anyways, um, I'm not going back to my apartment right now because I'm just having like a, I don't know, like a dilemma. It's not like I'm in a bunk or anything, but like backing it up to like the PTSD, there's like, it's not like I have six cents, but when something's happening, I know it like it's really weird you know how some people tell you like they know about what's going on with the weather like they're funny about it right and they're like oh my my nips the the pat, tad bit nipply it must be cold outside it must, it must be raining well it's not exactly what PTSD is but like I don't know how to explain it you know how you feel after a good example, okay, so you have a nightmare, right? And you wake up in the morning, or even like a good dream, right? Like it doesn't matter if it's bad or good, but you wake up and you're just shook, right? Like it wasn't real, right? And the way that you feel, the way that you feel in that moment of like, okay, that wasn't real, okay, I woke up. And like, of course we've gotten used to this through the years and we all move on from that kind of like a rush of a feeling if it's a rush for you or whatever to like wake up and be like whoa <laughs> well like glad that wasn't real or um maybe you enjoyed it i don't know so that's besides the point but like the feeling is like that bad dream feeling but it happens like out of nowhere right like i'll be sitting here just like doing whatever eating dinner doing doing whatever i'm doing and i'll just feel shook and it's nothing anyone said, it's nothing anyone did, it's just like, boom, and it's like something hits me, all of a sudden I have a memory. Sometimes I like have it, you know what I mean? Like, almost like a dream, like I think about it, I see it like a visual, you know what I mean? Like when you remember stuff, you look back and you think about like stuff that was around you or whatever. Like so in my head, I can all of a sudden like remember this thing. Uh, and it gets distracting. So that's the issue with PTSD. That's why like we diagnose it and, and we help people is because it's something that can prevent them from like getting through their day, you know, or like even certain words can like trigger them. Say they'd like, say they'd gotten into like 
a car accident, and this isn't an example for words, but like every time they get into the car, they might have like a little bit of anxiety or a panic attack or something even putting on their seatbelt. And it's just like a trigger because of, um, because of having that car accident happen before. So like, I don't have those a lot, especially now that I'm not in the service. They were more in the service that like I had triggers and I just kind of kept it to myself. And then I eventually got diagnosed like going to the doctor, going to the hospital. And it had to do with the people thought I was depressed, right? Like they thought I was like super sad and super low. And I was, but it was like circumstantial, you know, like who doesn't get sad and low about stuff that's going on? Um, which is even part of why I'm at the airport right now. Like it's just, it's not, it's not the right time to just be like at my apartment. And it's, it's New Year's Eve. I even thought about going to Vegas. Like, yeah, like something to do, right? Um, but yeah, the PTSD thing, there's something, there's something that like, I'm still not ready to like share with everybody. So I'll probably do like another one of these story time things, like after I collect myself. But like, right now I'm doing this thing where I'm kind of, not really taking a break, but I'm like rethinking the life that I've built since the Navy. You know what I mean? Like I've spent about three years out of the service and the things that I've done, they've been very minor. It's like, I've been super cautious about the things that I've been doing. And I'm, I'm in college, I'm doing, you know, the things that I should, but even back when I was in the service, like we had Liberty call, there were things to do back when I was in high school and having fun, like not just on the weekends, like I used to go and do stuff, right? And like COVID's happening, so everybody's going through it. Everybody's going through the whole like, let's not go anywhere, or like the point of going to that restaurant, or like we just avoid it because it's just inconvenient. Even right now, I'm wearing my face mask, you guys. Like, hello, I'm talking on my YouTube channel with a face mask on. Like, I hope you're wearing yours too. <laughs> Just kidding, but yeah, kind of like maybe we should be protecting ourselves through the lens. Anyhow, at the airport, waiting for a flight, um, I decided to get a flight to LA. I'm gonna go to LA, um, get a hotel room maybe, go to Rodeo maybe. I don't know, I have a conjoined flight, so I'm actually going up to Seattle for a hot minute, um, and then I'm going to LA, and yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. And it's kind of like, what else is there to do? It's New Year's. And I'll just see how long that takes me. Um, it's not too difficult to get a flight back to San Francisco, so. Anyhow, I don't know, some, some people might think that it's absolutely crazy <laughs> to just like take a flight somewhere. Um, and it's not, that's not like my typical behavior, especially like looking back in my younger years prior to the service, even in the service, like it's structured, it's controlled. We have to put in paperwork. This isn't, you know, like a spontaneous thing to just like go somewhere. There's lots and lots of paperwork. Um, yeah, so it feels different. It feels good, kind of liberating, if you will. I don't regret purchasing my ticket, but I still like have it heavily weighing on my mind to go to Vegas. I just think that that would be a blast. Like LA is going to be great. Um, and like seeing LA, cause I've been to LA, but I've never really like experienced LA. Like I've been to Disneyland, I've been to LAX. I've been to the military bases that are in and around there, but like actually like hanging out there, like just going somewhere to go get a coffee. Like I've never done that. So I'm just going to go see what LA is like. Um, yeah, like I said, the Vegas thing is still weighing heavily. Like, I kind of want to um, go see a show or something. And it's New Year's, right? So, like, I do have a little bit of fear, though. I don't know how many of you guys, like, follow the news. I'm sure you hear of things, especially when there's, like, huge disasters. Like, we can't avoid talking about them. But, like, the first thing I think about is how ISIS has done bombings at, like, nightclubs. And it just scares me. I just get, like frightened and it's like justified right you know I it's not it's not even like a no better situation because it's so sporadic like it could happen to anyone anytime you know what I mean like crazy people could just like show up with freaking rifles and just gun you down like that's a reality like ISIS made us face that that's a reality like 
You know what I mean? Like it's, there's the Columbine killings. Like there's all kinds of stuff that like we see on the news that we know is going on and is not right. And like, we all go through it. So anyways, that's what's like negative about Vegas. But like, there's a lot to it that just seems like it would be fun. Just be fun to go. There's shows, there's gambling, there's places like rehab where you could just like be by the pool all day long. Anyhow, enough hyping Vegas. Um, comment below, um, if, especially if you're watching this right now, I'm gonna upload it in about five minutes. And yeah, it's Wednesday night, the 30th, before the 30th of December. And yeah, hit me up.